right tackle here? What, what's working for you so far in the games? Um, what's working for me? Just focusing on getting better every game. Focusing on my technique. Um, you know, um, just studying more film and really taking ownership, like Coach Winnie uh, asked me to do. You know, he asked me to take ownership of that uh, position and step up. And if I really want it, I need to earn it. So uh, just stepping up to the challenge and putting my best foot forward every game, going out there and making sure that what I put on film is something good and that we're able, that I'm able to benefit the team um, with these wins. When, when you think about where you were in fall camp and where you are now, would you say you've taken a significant step in the last five weeks? Oh, yeah. You know, in fall camp, um, I had kind of, you know, I was, I was farther ahead than I had been in the spring. Um, Coach Rudy told me I was having a great camp, but then at the same time, my eligibility hadn't came through yet uh, with academics. So once that came through, that kind of pushed, pushed me a little bit more forward. A lot of the coaches' um, confidence that they didn't have, um, they, that confidence grew once they seen the eligibility come through. And then um, just continuing to have a good camp with you know, my effort and how I was working. You know, I was just, just staying under the radar. And when I got my opportunity, I just took advantage of it. I went back and looked at the game field and that um, screen pass to Zach Brooks that went all the way back across the field. There you are kind of leading the way. Is that one of your strengths, you think, being able to, to move and, and be that agile of an offensive lineman? I think speed and uh, quickness is one of my strengths, you know, um, being able to play, you know, a different variety of sports growing up. And uh, having my dad just helping me out, you know, gave me the ability to um, train differently. You know, most offensive linemen I mean, you see, you know, you have a lot of big and slow but very powerful and rough and stuff. And, and me, you know, I kind of present that quickness and speed, but at the same time, I like to, I like to try to be, you know, nasty sometimes too, where I have that strength ability as well. So, you know, I like when I get a chance to go out there and run and try to find somebody to hit. There's also another play you probably didn't see where I should have got out on the screen and I missed the corner, got out there too late. That's probably one that um, had had Coach Morris and Coach me a little bit mad, but. Uh, I should have got out there on that one. I kind of look at that bad stuff that I should have done better that, you know, we could have been successful with. You mentioned having the kind of mean streak. How much of an adjustment was it for you coming from high school where you guys threw the ball, what, like 70%, 80% of the time? How big of an adjustment was it getting used to having to actually run block? And It was a big, a big adjustment because coming from um, Wren, you know, um, being coached by some great coaches, Coach Haskins, Ashley Haskins, and Coach Jeff Tate, you know, being in that spread offense, you know, and being as big as I was, I really didn't have a lot of guys that uh, came at me, you know, like you don't have in college football. Most guys, you know, I just had to kick a couple steps, put my hands on them. Austin McCaskill had that ball gone, and we were off to the races with touchdowns and stuff. So, you know, as far as technique goes, I hadn't been consistently used to having to run block every play, having to do the right footwork, having to step forward. And it was just always a going backwards thing. So I had to really work on it my freshman and my sophomore year. And it almost took me, you know, the whole time I've been here just to get to take a couple steps and, you know, becoming a better run blocker and uh, becoming, you know, more of a dominant run blocker than just a consistently uh, pass, pla pass blocker and being more of a finesse player, you know, which is some words people used to use uh, when, when they recruit me. At first I didn't like it, but it was true because that's what I knew. But, um, you know, now I feel like I'm establishing myself as, as um, you know, a, a mutual side of player when it comes off the line. What does Coach Caldwell tell you about that? Because usually when you think about football, you think the left tackle is the pass protection guy, but the right side of the line is where we run behind. That's where the power runs go. You know, what's kind of been his message to you? Coach Caldwell is big on technique. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you, you get the job done, you block well, and he wants us to be a dominant O-line, but he's big on technique, and he'll break the film down every day for you. He, and he, he criticizes me every day in the meeting room, you know, and I need it. And uh, he does it because he wants to make me the best that I can be. And uh, he wants to bring that, that, that greatness out of me. And he knows that, you know, coming from a school is hard for me. We talk about it a lot, but he just stays on me about my technique and keeping my feet on the ground. You know, sometimes I get messed up with my quickness and, you know, I can get in um, a way of almost hopping sometimes I'm trying to move too quick. And I don't get both my feet on the ground, and, you know, when you don't get both your feet on the ground in college football, defense lineman gets under you, it's going to be hard to hold your ground sometimes. So, you know, I just have to take take the corrections from Coach Caldwell. And, you know, every game, you know, I'm just, just praying for the game. God, just help me with my technique, you know, because I know that, you know, technique in college on this level, even the NFL level is so big. And it's like that much technique can keep you from getting beat and keep Taj from getting sacked.
or you keep that D lineman from just putting a horrible move on you and making you look very bad. So, you know, technique is really the key.